Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, May 7, 2024. May God be with you today. I hope you are in good spirit. I hope you are doing well. And I pray that your families are doing well also. And today, as we go into the Word together, I pray that the Holy Spirit will bring to you wisdom and clarity and comfort and peace. Our reading today comes to us from Colossians chapter 3, reading from verse 18 to 25. And it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men-pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Amen. Of such a beautiful reminder this morning. We need to be reminded of these things from time to time because we have the tendency to forget. And so I am grateful that God has given us his word to keep refresh our mind so that we can walk in his righteousness and not our own. And so wives are admonished that they should submit themselves unto their own husband. So you should be faithful, you should be respectful, and you should work in harmony with your husband. And anything that you do, it must be in accordance with God. But while you are submissive to your husbands, I want you to understand that if your husband is leading you in a path that is not in accordance with the will of God, and if he's doing something that is wrong and he's bidding you to follow him, then you have to stand your ground and remain steadfast and faithful to God. So yes, you must be submissive, but submissive in the context of the word. So if your husband is beating up on you or anything like that, you can't be submissive to that. No, because God do not condone those kind of behaviors and so when you read the word of God please to keep it in the context that it is written and the same goes for husband it says husband must love their wives and not be bitter towards them so no husband should be beating their wives no husband should be telling their wives anything that comes to their mouth no husband should be disrespectful to their wives no husband should mistreat their wives in any way, shape, or form because God is going to hold you accountable for the way that you treat your wives. And so, in light of verse 18, which says that the wife must be submissive, if you want your wife to be submissive to you, then you must do likewise. In other words, you must love and treat her with respect at all times so that she won't find it a problem to submit to you and please do not ask your wives to do anything that god does not approve of i beg you because i you must follow the instruction of your parents as long as your parents is guiding you in the way of the lord and so you must not be disrespectful to your parents and when your parents instruct you and tell you to do something you can't tell your parents that you're not gonna do it because what your parents is set as governors over you by God and so when you disrespect them you disrespect God and God will hold you accountable for your actions and so don't make the mistake to believe that because you are growing up or because 
someone else is telling you and feeding your mind with all kind of misinformation means that you are obligated to speak to your parents with any disrespect and i know the society that we live in today this is the kind of behavior they encourage they encourage children to be disrespectful to parents they do because when you look at all the policies and things that they put into place they are basically saying to parents you have no right your children are the boss and the governors of you and therefore you have no authority over your child that's what they're saying but this is not what the god of heaven demands he says that children must be obedient and i go again as long as your parents is not abusing you and leading you off the track where god wants you to go never you disrespect them because i guarantee you you will pay the price and it's not a price that you can afford to pay because at the end you won't be answering to them you will answer to god and in the same breath parents fathers do not provoke your children to anger so don't do things that will make your children become discouraged and drive them to anger and when i say things i mean things that god will not approve of because i know that sometimes children they they become very rebellious when parents are disciplined so i am not saying that if you are being a disciplined parent and your children hate you for that then you should stop being disciplined but i'm saying don't do anything that god wouldn't approve of to your child that will cause them to lose their way out of the kingdom is that clear enough i pray that it is this is a very interesting verse that i hear a lot of people use especially people who are employers of other people and overseer of other people they tend to bank on this verse 22 here that says servant must obey their masters in all things according to the flesh but it means therefore that if fairly honestly and you must do what you were employed to do do you get it so this is not a a green card for the employer to use or anybody to use that is set over you to be a bully in any way shape or form it god is simply saying here that what whatever you do whatever i do that it must be service that is accepted by god and we mustn't do it to please anybody we mustn't show off as the term is often used but we must do it in humility and remember that we are doing it unto god and if we do it honestly and righteously then god will in his wisdom reward you accordingly that's the gist of it basically okay and so whatever as i said we do we must do it with all our heart not unto men but it unto god amen because god as i said he will reward you for that which you have done so the inheritance that you will receive in the hen is the reward that god has in store for you do you get that so what whatever we do we are serving christ in our actions and our service and that is why the book of matthew tells us that whatever we do to the least of these we are doing it unto him god so when you do something for your boss or you do something you know for your friend or somebody who asks you to do something and you do it heartily and you do it the best way you know how god is pleased with you and when you do it in the opposite and you think that you are hurting the person you are not hurting the person but you are hurting god understand because whatever wrong we do we will be rewarded for that wrong which we did and god he won't compromise his principles to suit any of us and so don't believe that because you and god are friends and god loves you so much that he's gonna neglect to punish you for the things that you do that deserve punishment hear what the last part say 
is no respecter of person. So God no have no favorite. We are all treated the same way. So whether you're rich, you're poor, you're indifferent, you're black, you're white, whatever, you will be treated the same way. We are all the same at the foot of the cross, one writer says. And, and so don't make the mistake to think that you will get away with anything in the eyes of God. And so I pray this morning that we will take these words and we will apply the principles to our lives because we are expected by God to live according to the principle of His words and not the principle of men or our own conviction. God continue to bless you and keep you as you seek to serve Him in all His ways. Amen.